the secret to power is prayer. Not just seminars, not just conferences, not just information, but impartation and revelation. I tell the members of my church, I say, I don't want to pastor you by information. I want to pastor you by revelation. But how am I going to get the revelation unless I'm plucking to God through prayer? But yet, no matter how often you teach about this and we know about this, prayer is the most difficult thing for any Christian to do. Oh, I tell you, that is the most difficult thing. And as a pastor, I see that close up and firsthand. You know, there are so many teachings out there about prayer. And, and you, if I talk to somebody, do you know the Lord's Prayer? Oh, I know, I know. I attended many seminars. You know, our Father, which I didn't have in heaven, hallowed be your name. Oh, I know, that's the first P. That is praise. You know, your kingdom come, your will be done. Oh, that is purpose. You know, and give us this day our daily bread. That is provision. And uh, lead us not into temptation. Oh, that is power. You know, and uh, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. That is our personal life. For yours the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Oh, that, that is, uh, what, is this? what is the next one? Oh, that is proclamation. So, so I know all the six Ps. You talk to them about prayer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about the tabernacle prayer. First, you come to the brazen altar. You ask God, forgive your sin. Then you come to the laver. You, you confess the word of God. Then you come to the showbread. You pray for unity. Then you come to the candlestick. You ask God for the anointing. Then you come to the altar of incense. You intercede for a nation. You come to the Ark of Covenant, to the Holy of Holies. And then you have communion with God. Now, you can know the theory about praying. But they're all useless. Unless you have a prayer life. 